Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another DIY for you guys today. I know I haven't done one in so long, but I was just like, oh, whatever. Excuse all the glitter on my face. This was my first attempt at doing some sort of glitter eyeshadow, and <laughs> clearly the eyes look great, but like the glitter got everywhere and it was a disaster. But yes, excuse that, I'm sorry. I love the look of these fur vests, but they're very, very pricey. So I was just like, you know what? I've done harder DIYs, I can do this. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a DIY on the fur vest and it's very easy, very simple, and it does not require a sewing machine. So let's go ahead and jump into this outfit of the day and then we'll go do the DIY. Okay, so OOTV, I've got the green skirts from Forever 21, black boots are from a local shoe store here in Dallas, and the shirt that I have underneath is just a mesh shirt that I got from the thrift store. So yeah, that's the outfit of the day, and let's just jump straight into this DIY. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start off with all the things that you need. You need scissors, something to trace it out with, um, and the glue. I'll have everything listed below if you need that. And then I have this shirt here. It goes about mid-thigh to me, or a little bit uh, above mid-thigh to me. So I wanted that because I wanted my uh, fur vest to be a little bit longer than the normal fur vest. And so here I have, I think it's half a yard of the fur, and it was around $20. I would suggest going with a quarter of a yard to, no, not a quarter of a yard. I would suggest going to three quarters of a yard to just the full yard because I was cutting it really close with just half a yard. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and fold this in half. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut that down the middle where your fold is. What I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of all the little fuzzies that were cut off. Now I'm just placing the shirt on that one side of the fur that we cut in half. And you're just going to trace it out. So the shirt has a sh smaller... Um, sleeve top at the top right there. See how I'm overlining it? I wanted it to be a little bit thicker there, so I'm just overlining it just a little bit. And like I said, I was cutting it really close, so all I'm doing really is just cutting out the sleeves of the shirt, and I'm not even gonna cut the rest because I was cutting it really, really close. And you're just gonna cut that part out. And then you're just going to cut out the neck piece there too. Next you want to lay that on top of the other piece and just use that as a guide so you get two exact pieces. What I'm doing now here is I'm putting the glue down and I'm just making sure I put a good amount of the glue onto the vest and I'm going to pinch the two sides together. This method of gluing it is probably only going to work with this type of fabric because the fur will, will hide the seam so you won't see the seam but I wouldn't suggest doing this method with any other fabric. And don't be like me, I literally almost glued my sleeves and my neck shut. So don't do the uh, sleeves, just do the parts on the shoulder. We're going to turn it inside out now. And now we're just going to go ahead and find our center. 
and that's where the vest is gonna open and we're just gonna mark that down the middle I'm just going to cut that right down the middle. Remember just to get rid of all those fuzzies there. You don't want those falling off of you as you walk around. And there we are. All done. This is the final look. I really hope you guys like this DIY. I hope this helps someone who's on a budget, you know, trying to look fancy on a budget. Thanks for tuning in.